Hello, welcome to this quick video in which we are going to install Ansible on a CentOS machine. So here I have a brand new version installation of CentOS. Uh, this is CentOS 7 and to check that Ansible is not installed, we're just going to run Ansible dash dash version and you can see we don't have Ansible installed on here. And the first thing to check when you're installing Ansible is to head off to docs.ansible.com and that will bring you to let's just double check this for you this page here and then you need to click on the installation button which will take you to the latest documentation which as of the time of recording we're doing Ansible 2.7 uh, just check the control machine requirements and it says Ansible can be run on any machine with Python 2.7 or 3.5 and higher installed and Windows is currently not supported for the control machine. So this includes Red Hat, Debian, CentOS, Mac OS and any of the BSDs. So as I said we're doing CentOS today and CentOS is actually one of the easiest uh, machines to install. You just have to run sudo yum install Ansible. So let's just go and run that sudo yum install ansible. Put my password in. And this will do everything for you and go off and pull down all the dependencies that it requires to install ansible. Now once Ansible is installed, um, it doesn't actually run any daemons, it doesn't have a database, it is a very lightweight platform and it just runs. You can run it on a laptop. I run Ansible and automate thousands of devices just from my laptop. It's a fantastic uh, platform to use, which you probably already know if you're looking to install it. And all the data, um, your playbooks and inventory files are all typically stored in some kind of version control. So the actual control machine is just a workhorse that just does all the, all the jobs. So you can see we're actually currently installing Ansible 2.4. So while did it do that? Well, we didn't actually update uh, the EPEL packages, which is the extra packages for Enterprise Linux. So, just to verify that, if we do Ansible dash dash version now, you can see that I have installed Ansible version 2.4.2. .2. And the documentation we were looking at was 2.7. So, we just need to run sudo yum install EPEL release so that's just updated the, the latest packages and if we run the ansible install command again this will now pull down the latest version which is 2.7 and we'll see that shortly as it comes around to say yes to this so we're actually going to be upgrading and you can see, here we go, Ansible now 2.7.5 is the package we're installing. So as you can see, this is very easy to get up and running with Ansible. CentOS is free, you can just download and install it. Ansible is free. And once you've got the package installed, you can start automating very quickly. And you're unlimited to the number of devices that you want to automate. So we're done. Let's just check. Ansible dash dash version. Ansible 2.7.5. So there we have it. How to install Ansible on CentOS 7. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.